Welcome to Fox TV News, where everything is true. Suspected cow thieves arrested in St. Elizabeth. It is alleged that two men went on a property in Borg St. Elizabeth and attempted to steal few heads of cows. They were spotted by residents who summoned the police and they were held same place in the field with the cows loaded in the truck. Further investigation is ongoing. Body of missing woman found in shallow grave. Detectives attached to the Kingston Western Division are investigating the circumstances surrounding the death of 50-year-old Millicent Robinson of Benbow Street, Kingston 12, whose body was found in a shallow grave at her home on Saturday, April 3rd. Reports from the Admiral Town Police are that about 12.06 p.m., lawmen acting on information that Robinson was missing went to her home and during a search of the yard, the investigators discovered what proved to be a shallow grave. The body, wrapped in plastic, was exhumed and removed to the mark pending a post-mortem examination. The police are appealing to anyone with information that can assist with this investigation to contact the Denham Town Police at 876-922-6441, Crime Stop 311 or Police Emergency 119. Major Hunt now on for a gunman linked to car of missing Clarendon Tejo. A joint police military operation is now underway in Bronx Hall St. Catherine as the security forces launch a search for a man who escaped their dognet yesterday. The man is believed to be an accomplice of the unidentified shooter who was killed by the police in an exchange of gunfire in Belfield District near Bellas Gate St. Catherine about 1.30 yesterday afternoon. Both men were being accosted after they were seen with the navy blue Toyota Wish motor car belonging to missing Clarendon teacher Natalie Dawkins. According to the police, they were seeking to sell the car. The whereabouts of the missing teacher is still unknown. Yesterday, the police indicated that they have been following several leads into the disappearance of the Clarendon teacher and are continuing a series of operations in search for her. Men who challenge cops to shoot out caught and charged. Three men have been arrested and charged with two counts of shooting with intent, illegal possession of firearm and illegal possession of ammunition after they allegedly engaged the police in a shootout on Phillips Avenue in Kingston 13 on March 21. Charge is 28-year-old Kyle Henry of Preston Road, Wellington Town in Kingston, along with 22-year-old Barber, Shamar Miller, and 23-year-old maintenance worker Mark Wayne Coleman, both of Harbour Drive, Harbour View in Kingston. The police said about 11 a.m., lawmen were on patrol in the area when the driver of a brown 2016 Toyota Corolla motor car was accosted by the police. Upon the approach of the police, the driver reported the reverse and collided with a light pole. Miller, Coleman and Henry then alighted from the vehicle and opened gunfire at the officers who returned the gunfire, the police said. They were subsequently apprehended and a pistol with a magazine containing five cartridges was seized. Please remember to subscribe, like, share and click the notification bell for daily updates.